Hey you, it's me, Emmy Kennedy, you and Emmy Fitness. This class is Strong AF Unilateral Training. We're actually gonna sneak in a little bit of cardio today too. I know I didn't mention that, Shh, sorry about that. Trick to you, uh, it's just gonna be some running in place. So if you're like, nope, that's not what I signed up for today, Emmy, that's okay. You can totally just march or walk it out or step, tap, that kind of thing. So we're gonna work for 60 seconds, one whole minute, one side of the body, and we've got 30 seconds of that cardio, running or walking or marching in place, take a rest, then we're gonna hit the other side with that same movement, cardio again, rest again. All right, you up for this? Let's do it, grab a light weight, and we will get a warm up in. All right, stand up nice and tall, set position with the feet right underneath the hips, shoulders up, back and down toward the spine, now we're gonna have that weight, let's say in your left hand, then you're gonna step your left leg back. All right, nice, long step back to lunge, and we're just gonna take it down, and up, and up, and up. Follow the beat of that music. So your shoulders should be stacked over the hips, that front knee should be stacked over the ankle. There should be a little bit of space between those feet. Think about balancing on train tracks, not a tight rope. Couple more here. Ooh. Get those legs nice and warm. Step it in. Now switch. Put the weight in the other side. Long step back. Remember, train tracks, not a tight rope. And here we lunge. Push the floor away through that front heel. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Warming up those legs. Starting to feel a little bit of heat. Couple more here. And then let's step it in. Now switch it back to the other side. We're gonna take the arm out, just like that. Keep that arm nice and straight, but careful. Don't lock the elbow. Standing up tall and proud. You can have that other arm out. You can put it right here on your hip. Couple more. And then let's switch. Here we go. Nice long straight arm. Don't lock it. Warming up the shoulders right here. Oh yeah. Couple more. Oh yes, now switch it back to the other side. We're gonna take a step back. Boom, let that arm hang. We're gonna lift and lower. Single arm row. So all these movements we're doing right now, you're gonna see in our workout. Now we're gonna take the elbow back and hold it there. Let's do a few kickbacks here. Warming up the triceps. Two more. Bring it in, take it down, and step it in. Switch sides with that weight. Take that step back, let the arm hang, and let's row. Row. Lifting that elbow high. Lower it down with control, you got it. Now let's take the elbow up and hold it there and get those kickbacks in here. Keep those hips and shoulders square. Oh yes. Last two, one, bring it in, take it down, set that weight down, shake things out. If you don't have water, go run and grab some real quick. And we're gonna get right into this workout. Remember that lunge that we just did? Stand up tall, feet under the hips, long step back right there from that set position. Balancing on those train tracks, not a tight rope. We're gonna add that lateral raise along with our lunge. So when you're down with the legs, the arm is up. Yes, a whole minute. You got this? Light, nice and lightweight, light to medium. Especially if you're used to going a little bit heavier for your shoulders, but shoulders are small muscle groups, so they get tired really easily. It's a whole minute, y'all. So let's do this. Stand up nice and tall in that set stance. Long step back. Here we go. So as you lunge down, lifting that arm up. Oh yes. Lift it up right underneath the shoulder. Ooh. 
So on that lunge, make sure that you're following that proper form. Stand up tall and proud. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Front knee over the ankle. Don't let that knee push out. All right, so I already said train track's not a tightrope. I want you to also think elevator, not escalator. Don't lean forward. You've got 20 seconds to go. Oh yeah. Woo. Remember we're sneaking in that cardio. Just a little jog in place for 30 seconds. We got 10 more seconds here. Woo. Yeah. Three, two, one. Put that weight down. Go for a run. No big deal. Remember what I said, you can walk. You can march. Get the knees up. You can do a little one of these. Just move. Nice little cardio spike. Oh yeah. 10 more seconds here, then we get our break. Oh. Hang it, hang it. Three, two, one. Ooh, take a rest. So if you need a quick stretch, reach the arm across, relax the shoulder down. We're gonna stretch those legs. Ooh. Yeah. So you know what's coming. We're gonna do the other side, right? So you're gonna hold your weight in your right hand and take a long stride back with your right leg. Are you ready for it? Let's do it. Stand up tall, lift the chest, long step back, keep that core engaged, and here we go. Oh yes. Watch that form. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Front knee stacked over the ankle, lifting that arm as you lower into the lunge. Ooh. Are we feeling it? Ow! Almost halfway through. Ooh. So one of the wonderful things about unilateral training is that it helps us identify our weaknesses. This is my weaker side. And I'm really feeling it, for sure. Woo! 75% of the way done. Oh yeah. Drive through that front heel, push the floor away. We're almost there. Ready for your run? Three, two, one. Set that weight down, hit it. You can go all in. Big sprint, take it nice and easy. All right, just move. Don't just stand around, come on. 10 more seconds. You can run around your couch. <laughs> Whatever you got. Oh yeah. Three, two, one. Take a breather. Ooh. Need a drink after that. Oh, a toast. Awesome work so far. Up next, chest press. Just one arm, of course. So here's where you're really gonna challenge that core stabilization. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna think that you're gonna pull over to one side. All right? So really brace hard. Plant your feet on the floor. Or if you've got a bench, right? Maybe you're lying on a bench. Feet on the floor. Whole spine on the ground or against your bench. Careful not to let that lower back arch. Other arm that's not holding your weight is just gonna be out to the side. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Brace hard, draw that belly in. Toward the spine and brace hard through the core. Okay, that's it. You ready for it? Let me grab my timer, bring it down here so I can see it. <laughs> ready and go. One whole minute. Oh yeah, feeling that already. So feel that challenge, especially if it's your weaker side. You're gonna feel like you're gonna roll over. Really hold strong. Ooh. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. We want to keep most of the work in the chest muscles. 
not too much in that shoulder. Ooh Especially if you went heavy. <laughs> oh, baby. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Get rid of that CO2. Blow it out. Less than 10 seconds. Come on. Woo! Almost there. Three, two, one. Finish up that rep. Set your weight down. Come on up. 30 seconds with that run. Or your walk, or your march, or your dance party. Uh, uh, just move, just move, come on. Woo! We got this. Eight more seconds, come on. Get across that finish line. Three, two, one. Yes, take a breather. So you know what's next. Same thing on the other side. Whew. How are you feeling so far? Heart rate up a little bit. Feeling strong, hopefully. Come on down. So was that your weaker side or your stronger side? Maybe you're not sure. You're about to find out. Come on down. Whew. Raise the core. Long straight spine, don't let the lower back arch. You ready? Take that arm up. And here we go. Knuckles facing the back, take the elbow out. Squeeze up to the top. Shoulders relaxed away from ears. So, one thing I like to do is get the weaker side done first. It'll help you feel a lot stronger. So once you know, which side, and it's usually your dominant side that's stronger. Ooh. Then you can kind of try to remember that when you do this kind of training in the future. This helps you feel a little bit more successful to get that tougher one out of the way. Ooh. But on the other hand, and we have 15 seconds left by the way, on the other hand, if you do the stronger one first, then maybe you know to do a couple extra reps or a few extra seconds to let that weaker side catch up and get stronger, right? Ooh, baby, almost there, friends. Come on, three, two, one. Woo, set it down. Come on up. Run, run, run. Oh, yes. Halfway through our run. Come on, if you're going hard, go hard. Get those knees up. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! Take a break. Feeling good. So we've got two whole sides blocks done. We've got three more things that we're gonna target. Three more sets, but really three more. More than that, because we're doing one side at a time. You all know what I'm saying. Oh, so I know most of you are watching this in the future, but right now it's like 6.30 in the morning. Apparently my brain's not awake yet. So, so up next, we are gonna do single arm row. You remember this one from the warm up? So we can take that long step back, bend into that front knee, arm hangs right here. You can also come down. Now, we don't have a specific core set today, so if you want an extra challenge for the core, make it a plank row. Come right here, and row, row, row. You can also come to the knees if you want, and you're still gonna get that extra core engagement from being in that plank position. So you decide, choose how heavy you wanna go, especially if you're gonna add that extra in the plank position if you wanna modify your weight depending on what you have access to, obviously. Let's do it. Get into that position. Ready, set. Here we go. We've got that whole minute. You can even like start in the plank row. If it's too much, change it up. Key things to focus on here. Keep the hips and shoulders square. Don't let the body open up. 
Really working those big upper back muscles. Pull that elbow back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lower it down with control. I'm gonna show you those different options. Oh yeah. We got 20 seconds to go. So if you wanna take the challenge, 15 seconds. You've been doing the regular row and you wanna try that renegade row, that plank row. Just for the last little bit here. Long straight body, three, two, one. Run in place. Woo. Oh yes. Get that little cardio spike. Way through our little run. You got it, come on. Stay with me, we're in it together, you and me. Ooh. Three, two, one, stop, rest. Woo. So hitting that other side. Think about it, what did you do last time? Did you do the plank? Did you reach scared? You wanna try it this time? Try to do the same thing that you did so that you're even, right? But especially if you did your weaker side first, you know this is your stronger side. Maybe try to go a little harder. All right, so standing, kneeling, planking. Let's get it, ready, set, go. Take that step back, let the arm hang. Hips and shoulders square. Neck stays in line with the spine. Don't break your neck to look up. Chest lifted and proud. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Pull that elbow back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Lower it down with control. Oh yeah. Halfway through, I'm gonna come down. Trying to do a few in each position. Oh! Oh yes, 15 seconds. Add the plank if you wanna, if you have it already. Oh yeah, just the last few seconds here. Three, two, one, woo! Run, run, run. Come on, halfway through our run. Good morning to those of you out there live. My tech is being funky today, so I'm not sure if you're out there. Woo, if you're typing at me, I can't see you. I'm sorry. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Special thanks to my Twitch friends who are out there. I haven't been able to see my Twitch activity while I'm live in a while, so I promise. I'm not ignoring you. <laughs> if you're chatting at me, send me a message. I would love to talk with you Woo! after class. But thank you for being here. OMG, we got kickbacks next. So we remember those from the warm up. Usually, we'd want to go a little bit lighter on those triceps than we did for the back. So if you've got a wide variety of weights to choose from and you went kind of heavy, that back set, those back sets, go a little bit lighter for your kickbacks. Because we're not just lifting here, we're extending. Now you can go one, two, three, four, or stay right here, like we did in the warm up. You can also go one, two, three, four, step in. Just to jazz it up a little. Right, because it's a whole minute. Totally your call, just keep moving. You ready for it? You can also do your kickback, sorry, down here, like we did, some of us did, for that single arm row. Yes, grab the weights that you want, get ready, and go. So you wanna stand, you wanna kneel, you wanna add that extra step, you wanna make it a four count movement, Oh yes, so many options, my friends. We got this. 
no excuse to just stand around. Ooh, there's always ways to modify those exercises. You can always be successful. You don't have to go crazy heavy. You don't have to do a million reps. You can take your time, right? Add that modification. No shame in the modification game. Oh, baby. 20 seconds to go. Woo! Keep the elbow high. Extend and bend. Almost there. Oh! Less than 10 seconds to come. Come on, friends. We got this. Ah! Three, two, one. Finish that run. Put that weight down. Go for your run. Or your walk. Or your march. Follow the beat. Like I said, dance party. Mm, mm, mm. Just move. Just move. Woo! Ten more seconds. Come on. Fight through it. Yes, three, two, one, Woo! rest. You already know what it is. Tricep kickback on the other side. Enjoy that break. And then after that, it's just one more thing. What? Just like flew by, right? Time flies when you're having so much fun. So other side, kick back. Choose your weight, find that position. Ooh, I did my stronger one first, uh-oh. It's gonna be tough. All right, you ready for it? Get set, here it is. Woo. Lift that elbow high, extend and bend. Remember those options. You can take it down every rep if you want. You can even take it down, step it in. Oh yeah, send and bend, you got it. Shoulders relaxed away from ears, hips and shoulders square. Don't open up the body. Isolate those triceps, you got this. I know you're feeling that burn by now. Woo! Yeah, 20 seconds, come on. A minute feels like forever, right? I was lying when I said we were having fun. I'm just kidding. I'm having fun, kinda. How are you doing? <laughs> Let me know. Oh, almost there, almost there. Three, two, one. Finish that rep. Carefully set down your weight. Run, run, run. Or walk, walk, walk. Jog, march, dance. Get that little cardio bit in. Yes, my friends, almost to the end. Less than 10 seconds here in this set. Ow. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, quick stretches if you need them. Oh yeah, those triceps are angry. They're not having fun. Oh, shake it out. Yes. So, biceps for our last bit of work. We're gonna do a hammer curl, bicep curl combination. So you're gonna take that weight, other hand on the hip or out to the side, knuckles out, hammer curl. Then as we come up the next rep, you're gonna twist, add that little twist, turn the knuckles forward at about the halfway mark and turn it back out on the way down. Yes, hammer curl. Bicep curl makes sense. Woo. All right, I'm gonna have to do a couple extra on my other side since <laughs> I don't wanna be uneven. That's my stronger side. Oh yeah, are you ready for it? Stand up nice and tall, feet right underneath the hips, strong set position, or you can split your stance and use that back leg for stability, especially if you start to feel wobbly, bend into that back knee at your little kickstand. You ready? Let's go. Remember hammer curl, bicep curl. That little twist, that big turn equals a big burn. Just adds a little bit of intensity to one of those little muscles. 
in the biceps. A little bit extra. Oh, baby. Glad I remembered to go with my non-dominant weaker side first. Oh, struggling already. Halfway there. Come on, team. We got this. Whew. Hammer curl at the turn. Bicep curl. You got this. 75% of the way done. Woo, keep that elbow in close. Keep it right under the shoulder. Don't let it sneak forward or backward. Three, two, one. Finish the rep. Oh my gosh, don't rush it on the way down. Woo. Run, run, run. Oh my goodness. Oh. That one poor arm. <laughs> Ow! Yes, team, come on. Just a few more seconds here in your run or your walk or your jog or march or dance party. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. Woo! Yes. One more set. Oh, and you already know what it is. No surprises. Other side with that hammer curl bicep curl combination. Grab a quick drink if you need it. Oh, amazing work so far, my friends. We are almost there. And the home stretch now. Oh, you ready? Come on, let's do it. And action. Woo, hammer curl. Add the little turn. Yes. Keep the elbow right under the shoulder. Remember you can split your stance. Ooh, baby. Stand tall and proud. Game face. Grit your teeth, come on. Woo! More than halfway there, team, come on. Yes, my friends. We got this. Almost there. Ooh, last 15 seconds. Oh, we've got our final little run. Oh, I challenge you to challenge yourself. Make it a little sprint. Whatever you've been doing, go a notch above. If you've been walking, make it a slow jog. Three, two, one. I'm gonna finish up that whole rep. Start your run or your walk. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Running it out kind of feels good after torturing those arms, no? Oh, come on, come on. So if you've already been running, let's go a little bit harder. Get those knees up. Oh, come on. Yes. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Oh, done. Oh my gosh. Walk it off. Shake it out. Keep dancing a little bit, nice and light. Just move, don't lay down and die. <laughs> Stick with me. Oh, oh my goodness, take a moment. Put your weights away, grab a drink. Whew. And then let's start to find our breath. Slow, deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Oh my goodness. How are you feeling out there? Again, I think some new folks popped on. My apologies if you're typing at me. I can't see it, unfortunately. My tech is always a little weird with Twitch. Doesn't show me what's happening live. And today, I can't even see whether things are working or not. So I did a test right before. Hopefully you all can even hear me. Ooh, did you find your breath? In through the nose out through the mouth, keep it going. I'm gonna push this to the next song. I think the next one is our cool down. Oh my goodness. Yes. Stand up nice and tall. If you're sitting or lying down, come on up. Big shoulder rolls here. Ooh, we're gonna get a nice little cool down stretch here. Hopefully you can stick around for this portion. Let's roll forward. Ooh, if you have to log off, I totally understand. Pinky swear. You're gonna stretch as soon as you can. 
One more big shoulder roll forward, and we're gonna take those arms all the way out. Reach as far away as you can without bending the waist, just those arms. Feel that wonderful release through the upper back muscles. Blow deep breaths. Let that heart rate start to come back to normal after those cardio spikes. Big breath in, open up the arms. Lift the chest. Breathe in and then exhale, take the arms down. Let's clasp the hands behind the back. Bigger lifts of the chest here. Pull those shoulder blades down, lift your chest up toward the sky. And let's lift the hands up a little bit if that feels good. If you want a bigger stretch, try to bring those palms to touch. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale, let go. Bring the arms right here, point your thumbs down, press your arms back, nice bicep stretch. Oh, that feels so good. If you want a deeper stretch through the, the biceps, turn your thumbs back a little bit more. Feel that? Breathe in, turn the thumbs back up toward the ceiling. Breathe out, take the arms down to the sides. Let's step one leg behind the other. Reach up and over and feel that wonderful stretch all the way down the side of the body. And let's step out. Put the other leg behind. Reach up and over. One of my favorite stretches. So good. And let's step it out. We're gonna grab hold of one foot, press the heel into the glutes, opposite arm out for balance, or even holding onto something if you're feeling wobbly. Nice quad stretch here. Feel that through the front of that leg. Ooh. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Let go of that foot and step it behind you. Press the back heel into the floor for a nice calf stretch. Breathe in, take the arms up, grab hold of one elbow, gently pull to stretch those triceps. Breathe in, and then exhale, take the arms around and down, step in, other side, quad stretch. Grab hold of the toes, press the heel into the glutes. breath in through the nose. Exhale and let go of that foot and step it back. Press the back heel down into the floor for that calf stretch. Big breath in, arms go up. Grab hold of that other elbow for the nice tricep stretch. I know our nice soft cool down music ended. We are almost done with our stretch. Big breath in through the nose. Exhale, take the arms around, step in, reach one arm across, relax the shoulder down away from the ear. Extra shoulder stretch here. Ooh. Big breath in, exhale, switch, reach that other arm across. Relaxing that shoulder down away from the ear. One more big breath in through the nose, open up. Exhale, arms come down, shake things out one more time. Couple little torso twists if you want them here. O-M-G, we are done. I hope you enjoyed this class format. Let me know in the comments or send me a message. I'm about to put all my social media information up on the screen in case you are not already with me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Also, my PayPal and Patreon information will be going up there. All of my classes are donation-based. I appreciate anything that you might want to throw my way. No amount is too small. PayPal is wonderful for a one-time contribution. Or if you want to sign up to be a Patreon patron, you can pledge any amount. You can always change it or cancel it at any time. And then you'll get some access to some extra things, some fun contests that I like to run monthly, and uh, extra class content, recipes, other fun things that I throw out there to my amazing Patreon patrons every now and then. So thank you again for joining me for this class. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe, be well. Here comes all that info. Bye, friends. <laughs>